My name is Jakob Lange. I'm a partner at uh, BIG uh, in Copenhagen and a director of BIG Ideas, which is a small specialized group within uh, the office. Uh, BIG is a uh, quite young firm. Uh, we are uh, 14 years old now, around 200 people based in Beijing, Copenhagen and in uh, New York. And we have seven partners in total. Yeah, I think we have done uh, a few projects that try to sort of uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, reinvent a little bit uh, the way we think about architecture. Uh, one of our main projects is a project that we call the mountain, which is this uh, idea that we have formulated as uh, architectural alchemy that by taking two very, very different ingredients and mixing them together, we create an added value. In this case, it's a parking house and some houses, and we use the parking house, it's almost like a mountain slope, and put houses or apartments on top, so every one of the 80 apartments all get a fantastic view of the surroundings. And normally you would not sort of uh, relate uh, parking as a good thing for the houses, but in this case it's like really creating a, a much better environment for the, for the apartments. We are designing a waste to energy plant uh, in Copenhagen. It's a big power plant that basically takes all the household trash from the people living in Copenhagen and burns it into uh, electricity and heating. So uh, you could say one ton of trash is almost equal to bo uh, barrels of oil. So there's put a lot of potential uh, electricity in this. And uh, in Copenhagen we are building the sort of the, the most efficient waste to energy plant in the world. And on top of that, we're putting a ski slope. Um, in Denmark, we don't have uh, mountains, uh, but we have mountains of trash. So this will be sort of a big uh, place for Copenhagen's to go and, and practice skiing. And then as a, as a sort of a, a, a crown jewel on this, uh, the smokestack is basically uh, puffing out uh, smoke rings. <laughs> And uh, it does every, so every, uh, every time the power plant has burned a thousand tons of CO2. It, it sounds like a, a, a sort of a cool idea, and it's, but it's also about creating knowledge about pollution because pollution is something that nobody really knows uh, and it's very intangible. So uh, by creating these smoke rings, it sort of illustrates that now we have emitted another uh, 1,000 tons or 100 tons of CO2, depending on the rhythm that we decide in the end. Uh, and you could say this, this mechanism uh, that makes these smoke rings are something that we are developing because it's never been done before. So this is also one of the big ideas that we are trying. I think personally, I've, uh, my, my family is, uh, is all uh, plant lovers. Um, they, uh, my, my grandfather was a botanic uh, and was teaching about plants. So it's like it seemed very natural to me to... Uh, so, so I had this hobby project about window farming that I developed this uh, new pot system. Uh, um, some green walls uh, and we have now put it into production and simply to make it easier to uh, to market it uh, it's become a part of the uh, big ideas as well so it's like my personal interest is now influenced uh, the future of uh, big ideas In the recent year, or the last year, we've been trying to formulate this new uh, group, a specialized group of uh, people, uh, where we get uh, engineers on board as well and try to tackle. So the, the next step for BIG is this, uh, what we call BIG Ideas. So it's basically a, a group of, uh, of people um, that uh, know about uh, uh, simulations, daylight, uh, wind, uh, structure and so on, and we try to 
uh, to help our projects get smarter and better in this way. I think, to be honest, uh, from my uh, point of view, um, it's pretty spot on. Uh, I think as an architect, maybe it can seem a little bit banal, but I think uh, now the architecture biennale is not only for architects, it's also for, for, uh, for people. And I think uh, people, uh, when they go in and, and see the, especially the Italian pavilion where Rem has, has done his work, they will start understanding that architecture is about putting or sampling different ingredients, put them together and create uh, architecture in this way. And I think many, uh, many sort of the, the general public, they, uh, they think of architecture as sort of an art form, but essentially we are, uh, architects are more like uh, curators that we curate the different uh, ingredients, uh, doors, windows, lamps, uh, and so on, put it put it together. I think in in that way it's uh, quite successful. And then I I you know it's just very uh, spot on with sort of uh, it's it's very sort of basic uh, in a way that I I kind of like you know there's there's no sort of uh, you don't need to uh, to think a lot or know a lot about architecture and to understand uh, his theme.